All right, welcome back. Uh, just wanted to let you know that um, whatever values the user stores over here in this options, uh, this name is advertising code, this one, and the other one is header logo. So it's header logo values under head and logo name and advertising code is this one okay just remember these names now as I've explained to you at the beginning of the previous video that um, the values are stored using register settings which is the function that I showed you at the end register setting function okay and these are retrieved using get option okay and setting API automatically use the update option get option and delete option to handle this data internally so whatever the user is storing over here you must be wondering where would this data go to uh, so this all data is handled by the setting API which uses the the functions uh, like uh, update option get options delete options so update is to update the data that user entered uh, get option is to get the data and delete option is to delete the data uh, so as you already know that the options API uh, in the options API all this data is stored into our WP options tables if you go to WP options table of WordPress uh, you'll be able to see that um, this header logo and advertising code these names that I've just explained to you this header logo name which is the value of this stores the value of this and the uh, advertising code name which stores the value as 456 this all is stored in the WP options uh, table in the column name um, options name okay header logo and options value is you know this value that we have entered right here you can see 456 and, and the URL right okay so that's all I want to explain to you that this is how the data is stored retrieved deleted and, and so on okay thank you very much guys bye